My name is Jana Kelly, and I am so excited to see this crowd here and you meet him in person. Thank you so much to Crystal and Percy for making this happen for us. We really appreciate it. Who is a LAPRO? What is a LAPRO? You know, the Oklahoma Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers. That's who we are. We're a state chapter of this organization. We also have a regional, the Southern region, where it's SACRO and the National ACRO. So all, all great organizations to be a part of, a lot of information. I was able to go to Portland to the ACRO conference and meet with a lot of you know friends, colleagues, people going through the same things that we're going through all around the United States. And that was that was exciting. So that to me, that is what a ACRO, SACRO, ACRO, those are opportunities for us. It's not just an organization, we're a group of people who share. We, we share a lot. We share the highs, the lows, and especially in our state, you know, right now, where I think a lot of us are seeing some struggles with enrollment numbers being down, and some, some are probably up. But this is the time. If you don't get anything else from today, meet somebody that you don't already know. Find somebody who works in a similar area with you and just get to know each other, make those connections. Because for me, that's been the most valuable part of my experience with OACRO. The listserv, you're gonna hear a little bit more about the listserv. If you're not familiar with it, we're gonna help you get familiar with it. So you go out there and put your question and then we will answer. We'll tell you what we do at our school. Might not be what you ultimately decide. And, and one of my comforts with that is oftentimes you find it we're all in the same boat. We're all doing very similar things. And sometimes you put an issue that you're dealing with and somebody really steps up to the plate like Kyle and says, oh, here's how you do that. Okay, awesome. Now we know how you can go into parchment and override a hold and send a transcript without changing anything about your system hold. Really good trick for us to know. So with permission of Whoever placed that poll were able to go in and do that. And it works great. And that was the thing that we threw out of the listserv. Um, so just uh, remember, and we are we're also a mechanism for these groups to share things with us, like our Oklahoma State regions is often a part of our, our conferences and workshops where they come and get updated, spring policy workshop and at the fall conference. So it's a good, a good uh, opportunity for them to share updates and for us to be able to ask questions. So when you're there in person in November, have your questions. We'll also send out links to uh, ask the regents so that you can go in and a Google form and submit your questions so Dr. Foster can be prepared to answer those questions and speak to the things that you're really concerned about or that you just want to know more about. So. Uh, let's see, and I also want to go in and introduce the members of the executive committee who are here today. So, uh, Crystal, who is our Vice President of Professional Development. Let me call it right. Vice President of Professional Development. Christy Luke, who is our Secretary. Lori Kunkowski, our Treasurer. Ross Mail, our uh, communications coordinator and webmaster extraordinaire. So we're, we're so excited to have the website back up and working. And now when you type in OACRO, you don't get some really random links. You actually get the organization. There's membership information out there. There are upcoming events. Our constitution bylaws, this information is out there. And your current executive committee has been working really hard over the last year go through position description and bylaws and constitution and clean things up and bring things up to date. A lot of that will be presented to you at the annual fall conference in November. If you haven't already marked that down, it's November 9th through 11th. Save those dates. We're still working on firming everything up for that, but, but save those dates it's a little later than it usually is. But so, so you'll have a little more time to get prepared and get it approved for you to travel for that. And we'll have more information about session events and things like that coming for you. Um, and Crystal, I think that's all I have. Thank you. And I'm not sure if Jess, she introduced herself, but did she tell you she's president of OACRO? <laughs> <laughs> so, just in case. Oh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> 
Me and Jack. Now that you said that, one more very important thing nomination and elections <laughs> happens every year at the annual <coughs> conference. There's a nomination and election. Uh, Renee Roach, our president, has submitted that. She sent it out, put it on the listserv. Ross is going to attach it to the website. OACRO is important, and I'm very passionate about this organization, which is why I must have lost my mind and agreed to serve a third term <laughs> <laughs> as president, because as Shelly Luke well knows, you can get stuck in this revolving door of OACRO president because people keep removing, right? There are opportunities to move places like Pennsylvania. Who does that? <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, Dr. Baer, who just was our Current is our current president elect and has taken a position at Oshry. So that leaves that position vacant. Well, I can step back in the president, but I can't step back and do two roles at one time. So we have to have people step up. And what you need to do today, please do today, is consider your colleagues, consider yourself. Think about you can nominate yourself or anybody you know for the positions that are open. And those positions are president elect. Secretary, uh, Vice President of Registration and Records, Vice President of Membership and Mentoring, and Vice President of Professional Development. We have big long titles. They're not scary. We work together as a committee and we help each other and we all plan conferences and we're there to support each other. Those position descriptions will also be available. And if you have more questions about what any of them do, feel free to email me, give me a call. I'm happy to talk to you about it. I tell everybody I have done my dead level best to lower the bar as much as humanly possible to be president of this organization.